hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a unboxing slash review slash first impressions on this bad boy right here this is called the glow box I'm sure you guys have seen this on uh, Pinterest I think that's where it's like the most popular because it's really well known for its unicorn oil yes this is what I'm going to be reviewing today um, along with all the other stuff that came in the box first and foremost I want to say that I did not purchase these products with my own money these were actually gifted to me by someone very special so E if you're watching this video shout out to you you are the fucking MVP for hooking me up with all these products I really appreciate it Glowbox is a monthly subscription just like BoxyCharm, Ipsy, Birchbox whatever it is that you're into Glowbox is the same thing except these are 100% vegan cruelty free products um, they're handmade by I believe a mother and a daughter out in California so all these products are 100% handmade and quote-unquote natural or whatever um, I think the box retails for $30 a month the whole concept behind the box is basically about glitter and glow not all of these products that you see in the box let me just go ahead and show you Everything that you see in here didn't come all at once. What happened was I showed my friend a picture of this box um, off of Pinterest. And I was like, yeah, I really want this. I think I'm going to purchase it. So my birthday was right around the corner. So as a birthday gift, they purchased it, not knowing that they were automatically enrolled into the monthly subscription. You know, this person thought that they were just buying one box. <laughs> so in the end, they ended up receiving three boxes which you know they gave to me all together as once so um yeah so i got three months worth of product in this month so i don't even know because my friend lives out in virginia so i didn't even get to see what the boxes looked like on their own when they came in monthly um you know my friend just put it all together in one box which is fine i don't have a problem with that but you know i would have liked to seen it like separately in all three different months but Nonetheless, I'm pretty excited because this did go viral. Jeffree Star did talk about the unicorn oil and they totally shitted on it, him and Laura Lee. And I guess it pretty much turned everybody off. People were really disappointed. And I did look on YouTube to see if a lot of other people had done reviews on this. And uh, there wasn't a lot of videos, so I'm actually excited that I'm making this video and that I have these products because I know people are curious. I know a lot of people haven't bought them, but I know people are curious. So I'm pretty excited to share my thoughts and try it out for myself. Now, I just want to throw it out there that this unicorn oil is the reformulated version. When the creator of Glow Cult Cosmetics saw Jeffree Star's video, I know there was a lot of backlash and they reformulated their entire line according to what I read on their website. So the first thing that I'm pulling out of my box is this. This is to clean your brushes. I like this, you know, I have one of these already. It's a lot smaller, it's the little egg I got off of Amazon. But I do like that this is bigger and what I also like is that it has different ridges. I just feel that the way that it's patterned, it's gonna work really well to really deep clean the brushes. I haven't tried this out for myself yet. I'm going to because all my brushes are extremely dirty so I need to clean them. And I will keep you guys posted on this just like everything else that I do. But yeah, I really like that I got this. This always comes in handy. You know, you always need things to clean your brushes. So definitely a hit for me. The next item that I pulled out of my box is this Collagen Nourish Lips Membrane. And this is by the brand Bio Aqua. Everything is literally in Chinese or Korean or Japanese. You guys can see right there for yourself. But I think it's pretty self-explanatory. This is supposed to be like a lip mask. So that's pretty cool. Um, I've never tried a lip mask before. So I will definitely give this a go. And it's like really squishy and jelly-like. I can feel it through the packaging. So I'm excited to try this out. The next item in the box are these lashes right here. And these are actually Lush Lashes. They're 3D cruelty-free and vegan strip lashes. That's what it says on the packaging. Um, it's got a beautiful little unicorn on it. I really like the way that this came packaged. And look at that. Those are fucking stunning. Oh my god. I wish all lashes came like this. Like, look at that. Oh my gosh, this packaging is so cute. I love it. I love how, it, you know, these are like super secure. I really like this. And they feel, they feel real. You know how like some lashes feel really fake? like really plasticky these don't feel plastic at all i'm really excited to try these out and they're very like 
they just look very dramatic which is the kind of lash that i like to go for the band on them it honestly doesn't even look like they're a thick band which i hate like that's why i don't wear house of lashes or velour lashes because they're really thick bands and i can't deal with that so yes guys I am for sure gonna do a tutorial using these lashes. The next item in my box is this lip gloss. It doesn't have a name. Um, it didn't come with a label or anything of that sort. I do like the packaging though. It's your average packaging that you would receive for any liquid lipstick, lip gloss, blase blase. So I have used this product before and I have to say that I actually really like it. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. What I like about it is that you can build it up or leave it to a minimum. I love glitter lips. I love having really nice pouty lips, glossy lips, and I just feel like this adds the perfect amount of shine without being too tacky. And it honestly does have glitter particles in it, so it just adds a lot of dimension. I don't know if my camera's gonna pick it up, but that's what it looks like right there. Oh, okay, see my light's picking it up right there. It is just beautiful. I love this. Let me go ahead and apply some to my lips so you guys can see. It smells like vanilla cupcake. I really like the smell of it. And it's not overpowering. It's just like a very mild vanilla scent, which I like. So this is what it looks like on the lips. As you can see, it does look really nice and shiny. But honestly, I just feel like these lights aren't doing it any justice. Like when you go outside... Like you can honestly see all the glitter and I die for this lip gloss. I'm so happy I got it. It's beautiful, I love it. Next item, actually two items that I'm gonna share with you guys are these brushes that I got. Now, this brush is what ultimately sold me when I saw it on Pinterest. That's a little unicorn brush. Look at, look at it, gosh, it's so cute. Who doesn't wanna have a brush like this? Now I haven't put this brush to use yet and Honestly, I don't know what I would use it for. I thought maybe I could use it for a highlight because it's nice and small. So maybe I can just pack on some highlight. The next brush I have been loving and it's like a marble. Look at that. It's marble, it's white, I love it. I love white brushes or like pink brushes, my favorite. I really like how this brush has an angle to it as you guys can see and it's not too big on top. I really like it. I have been using it so, so much. And what I've been using it for is applying blush. Literally, it fits right here onto the apples of my cheeks. And it blends out so well. Like, this brush has been a staple for the last two weeks that I've had this box. I mean, I cannot put this down. Both the brushes are extremely, extremely soft. They're actually really nice and fluffy. The next two items are glitters, and I am so excited that I got these. This is what the packaging looks like. I was so happy when I got these because I don't have a lot of glitters. I mean, I have a lot of pigments and stuff like that, but I don't have any glitters. So I was just really excited to get these. I don't want to tip it over too much because it'll fall out, but... I got one in a nice hot pink, which is what I really want because I want to do like this fierce pink glitter eye. And this one is in silver. I haven't opened it yet, but I will go ahead and open it right now because I want to swatch them for you. They are so pretty. Look at that. Girl, these are super, super glittery. I cannot wait to use this pink one all over the lid. I just feel like I'm gonna look like a freaking cotton candy and I'm excited for it. I really like the quality of them. I mean, they're really, really finely milled and I'm really impressed. I can't wait to see what they look like when I use them all over the eye. I also received this. It didn't have a label on it or anything. Again, it doesn't have a name. This is a really cool item. When I open it up, it looks white, right? It looks like it would be like a silver or maybe like a bright white, something like that. But this is actually the most beautiful pigment I own. Guys, it is so iridescent. I feel like I'm gonna look like a unicorn when I use this, but I cannot wait. This is what it looks like on the back of my hand. Do you guys see that? Like, look at my finger. It's really, really like lilac, iridescent, unicorn vibes. That's, that's what I'm getting when I look at this. Literally unicorn vibes. All of this together is just like, a big unicorn waiting to explode in your face and I am all for it, let me tell you. 
Okay, and then I also have the Rose Water Priming and Setting Mist. It doesn't have any instructions or anything like that on the back of the bottle. Now, I just sh I shook this thing up right now, just so you know, I shook it up because you can see that it actually has like glitter in there. I can see it and when you just like let it sit for a while, all of it will go down to the bottom. So I'm curious to see what this is gonna do. Um, I'm actually a little afraid to spray it on my face because I don't want like actual glitter particles all over my face. So let's just try doing it on my arm first and see what happens, okay? Oh wow. So I like the spray. Um, I don't know if you guys could see that the spray is it's like very fine mist okay I need to show you guys this so I'm gonna get up and actually get in front of the camera do you see that I sprayed it and I was pretty far away I didn't spray it too close up but it's like I don't know it looks like the oils and the coloring that's in there because this is like a bronze color it seems like it doesn't want to like mix together very well and there is some coloring coming off look at that I don't oh my gosh yeah look do you guys see that I'm still moving it around it's like not drying up all the way And it does have like a sheen to it, as you can see right here in this area. So I've made up my mind. I don't think I'm gonna be spraying this on my face. I could see myself using this as an all over body glow, like spraying it all over and you know, rubbing it in and being really nice and glowy um, because it is summertime. So this is a great item. I think that this would work really well for the body. Maybe even spray it in my hair and give my hair like some glitter, glitter vibes in there. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I got some like pink added to my hair yes shout out to my girl jenny makaya out in sterling virginia she's the shit and the very last item which i know this is why most people are watching this video is the unicorn oil i love the packaging it's in a glass bottle so you have to be careful and uh, I, this one does have directions on the back it says ready to glow apply five to ten drops to clean skin for a hydrating natural glow Add three to six drops to foundation to create a dewy base for even more glow. XO Glow Cult. It actually has ingredients on the back. It says it has grapeseed oil, almond oil, mica, and cyclopentasiluxum. Ooh, girl, I can't say that, but I try. So it doesn't say what color I got because on the website, they do have a variety of these. They have like a pink, a silver... Um, they have like a light gold. I'm assuming this is like their bronzy gold, yellow gold. I don't know. We'll find out. I haven't swatched it, so first impressions, guys. But first thing I want to say is that it is very watery. Look at that. You guys can see that, right? And then, again, just like the setting spray, if you don't mix it, you can actually see like, do you guys see that line right there? Like, here's the oils, and then right here is all like the glitter and coloring it's separated so let's give this a good shake make sure everything is really well mixed i'm going to place two drops and blend it out with my finger i see that um it's a really pretty color this is definitely up my alley but i just want to make sure i get really nice and close for you guys it is very chunky like I can feel the glitter on my hand and this is what my finger looks like so let's just give it a, a go fuck it let's put it on my face hopefully I don't fuck up my makeup because I have places to be today ah, okay I have my beauty blender. On hand. Um, it's not really blending out. Okay, there we go, with my finger. It's blending out a lot better. 
I mean, there's definitely a glow. Can you guys see that? Whew. Look at that, you guys. In the camera, this glow is giving me life. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. Could it be? Could I found like my new ride or die? Holy moly. This highlighter is beautiful. I'm not gonna lie. It's really beautiful. Definitely don't apply it over powder. Like any cream or liquid highlighter, of course, you never apply it over powder. Um, so that was my mistake. Definitely think that on bare skin for like a nice no makeup makeup type of look. And you want to add this to like the bare skin to give you that really nice glow. Do it. Go for it. Or maybe you could wear this underneath and then layer it with a powder highlighter. Not that it needs to be layered because it is really pretty on its own. I'm going to spray a little mist and fix on my face and just let everything be one. And then go back in with my beauty blender and tap this out some. Oof. Yeah, I'm living for this. Alrighty guys, so final thoughts on this Glow Cult Cosmetics box. It's $30. Do I think it's worth it? Yes. I think that if you're somebody who uses a lot of glitters, who is really big on highlighting and the glow, I mean, that's like the big hype right now. Do I think that this box is worth it? Absolutely. I think that if I had an extra $30 a month to give up, I would definitely do it. You know, I'm currently doing BoxyCharm. I don't think I'll ever let go of BoxyCharm because they are amazing, but this box really did come through for me. I I like all the items that I received. The only thing that I um, wasn't truly, truly impressed with was the setting spray. Um, I don't think that I would use this on my face just because if I'm already using like a really intense highlighter like that, like how much more dewy do you want to be? Um, but that's really up to you. I love the brushes. I like the glitters. I love the eyeshadow. I can't wait to wear them. The lashes, I think, were like the number one thing for me. And this highlighter is freaking life. Like, <laughs> I'm so happy she reformulated it. And I really suggest that you guys go out and pick up the box. Also, if you're not interested in picking up the box, like if you don't want to pay the $30 a month, which is really understandable because that is a little pricey, I know that on her website they do sell these products individually so you can just purchase whatever you like. As always, I hope you guys found this video useful and entertaining. If you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, girl. Hit that joint real quick. And I will leave a link down below to Glow Cult Cosmetics. Now, the link that I am going to leave down below is an affiliate code. so. I do make 10% off if you guys use that link to purchase anything off the website. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.